day use vault my fellow gamers here we have my new copy of 3.0 for dead zone and my much loved copy of 2.0 dead zone and i'm gonna say it now i like the 2.0 better uh maybe not the rules i haven't gone through and checked the differences between the two i heard really good things about this uh but this force list i think is kind of poop the main reason they got rid of the mercs they just got rid of them uh i heard from a friend of mine um who is you know pretty close to ronnie i suppose and he said that the mercs are available on something called easy army i'll have to find out get a link from him for the app whatever it is and see if i can still use the mercenaries that i've tried very hard to collect i uh, i took the easy route i guess it's easy but i ordered a bunch of the star saga stuff to get my mercenaries i'm actually expecting my last box set here very soon and that was a 53 dollar box set it's not cheap and that's just for two mercenaries um yeah so i'm not happy about them doing that but there's other things other reasons why for i don't like this book uh, so the rule books don't really matter even though this one's pretty and hardbound actually i like the cover a lot more but yeah that enforcer cap dude is so awesome i love the model so right here boom starts with the starians we're not going to talk about Asterians. we're not going to talk about a lot of this stuff um we're going to talk about the stuff that i think is poop so yeah, they added uh, new things in here. Like, Forge Fathers, they don't even have Freya. Like, why are you going to remove, like, the best character in the game? Yeah. Uh, Marauders. Um, Marauders are okay. They removed the big uh, metal dude. And they made, uh, they made bolts into a grunt bot gaffer. So, a grunt bot grandfather. That's what gaffer means in Drake Britain. If you guys don't speak that language, that's cool, but that's what it means. So, yeah, they only have two living legends, which is kind of lame because, you know, other factions have, you know, four to five. Uh, two? Kind of tanks, man. Uh, here, Maison Labs shares a lot of stuff with Plague. And bleep, there we go. So they only have one Living Legends, but Maison Labs is kind of newer uh, than the other factions. So Subject 901, he is also in the Plague list, which I enjoy. And then they've got Dr. Gale. Uh, but Dr. Gale and 901, they're the only Living Legends in Plague. But they're there for Maison Labs. The name list didn't change, really. Uh, they changed a name. Instead of ogres, they're now Magnumite. Just, just, okay, whatever. You guys probably are worried about getting sued. Now, the plague, the plague is what really cheeses my potatoes here. It's, I mean, I'm happy about one thing, kind of. I'm happy about the corruption Dude's boss. I pre-ordered mine just a few minutes ago. Go to trollhordes.trollhordesgames.com and they've got all the plague stuff pre-ordered of ability. And this guy was only like twenty-two bucks or something like that. Excited to have him. Uh, but yeah, just pre-ordered him. Now here, it's, it makes me sad. Okay, now I do like the sentient. He's a simian that went plagified and i think he's cool in order to buy him though sadly you need to buy a bunch of the uh you know the the stage uh, 3a ghoul guys and whatnot uh, so he comes with a bunch of different stuff it's got like two hellhounds or something like that and a bunch of the 3a's and then one of him so if you wanted the new leadership option you're gonna have to buy a lot of chaff that you probably already have uh 
just to get him, which is kind of garbage. And just to get this one model is roughly, you know, $40, which, you know, it's not cheap, bruh. So the Plague Lord model, I'm sorry, he would be a cool sculpt if it was anything but a Plague Lord. Because, I mean, he's just a, a huge, gnarly, yelling dude. Which, you know, everybody likes the constipation look, I suppose. But the Plague Lord has a quintessential, like, awesome sculpt. Uh, even the crappy Restic ones is, is awesome. And you can, you know, modify him. But there's also the resin one. I'm one of the very lucky owners of a resin uh, 1A sculpt. There's no way I would use any other 1A sculpt. Absolutely no other way. Uh, I have the resin one. I'm going to use him. This guy, he falls short. Sorry, y'all. The creeping memes here, these leapers. You know, we didn't need sculpts, man. We didn't need brand new sculpts. Why? And these guys are actually expensive. If you're going to pre-order those guys, you're like 40 bucks for three dudes. Like, come the heck on. I don't know. Maybe they're made out of gold. I guess, but uh, yeah, the old sculpts were perfectly fine and looked really good. Uh, you know, they had action dynamics. This is only one of the sculpts, so I can't speak about the others, but yeah, for right now, he's not looking all that dynamic. <sighs> okay, so this is a pretty good re-sculpt. I do kind of like it. Now, I have the old Terratons. I got a few of them. Uh, and they're spiky and cool. I took the time to clean mine. Uh, and with Rustic, that, that takes a bit of doing. But that one's pretty bulky, pretty cool looking. Who knows? I might add one of those to my deal. I think uh, if you were to pre-order, you, you would pre-order the Terraton with the Plague Lord. They're combined. So it's the sent Sentient with a bunch of these 3As and some Hellhounds. And then those two big nasties, which is pretty cool. <sighs> Look at this. This is garbage. Look at that plague swarm. Like, what the heck, man? It's terrible. It's terrible. It's Easter gone wrong, you know? And I don't like it. I like the old plague swarms. The old plague swarms were violent looking. But regardless, uh, they don't show you the corruption in here. He's just really amazing. Uh, so, yep, but anyway, all right, let's go, we'll move on, nobody cares about Rebs, nobody, 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 at all, okay, let me see here, oh. yeah, see, this is where you're going to find some of the mercenaries, some of them, not all of them. The Hund, actually, the uh, Eric, this guy is the one that I wanted out of that $53 box set that's coming soon from Star Saga because I didn't have him, and he is amazing looking. And why wouldn't you want a Grogan in full armor with a gigantic gun? I mean, I, and a little missile launcher on I mean, he's just awesome. So, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so Vermin. Vermin, it's a little odd. They, I think they, maybe Vermin were tearing it up in the uh, the tournament scene and the tournament players were like, <laughs> just like tournament players do. And so they screwed the list up here, especially for people like myself that enjoyed the Vol Chasers. Uh, and specifically Thorn. Thorn was awesome. Uh, here, leaders... Okay, Progenitor, Master Creeper, Brood Mother, Pack Leader. Okay, so you no longer have Thorn. Thorn is no longer in here. You got this new big resin model, and he's a cool looking model, but I don't really care for his stuff. You're going to take the Brood Mother. So no longer do you have a crone. The crone is gone the way of the dodo. I guess you could use her to be a Brood Mother. But. Yeah, uh, you got the pack leader, this master creeper dude. Um, yeah, so no more thorns. So the charged ability, you know, because the leaders are what have your splats that you can use, your abilities uh, written down here, inspiring presence, okay? So that's for the, the brood mother. And this guy has, eh, whatever. Um, 
actually, I, I like this. Uh, the active model may make a free shoot action with the uh, range two explosive frag two. Sorry, that's it's a really cool splat. Uh, and I will probably be using a master creeper just because that is cool. <laughs> I mean, it's just cool. But so Thorn, what he would do in the old book, the old rules, is he would make it to where you wouldn't have to check to see if you survive after using the charge special ability. But now I guess they do. That's a problem with me not reading the rule book. I just got this uh, yesterday, like I said. So, but yeah, uh, we'll go to the Living Legends section here. Support. Oh, mother sucker. There they are. So Living Legends, you get Tangle, Hacker Half Tail, the Piper, and then boom. So Thorn is up there. All he has is Medic. He's charged and Tactician 1, but he, there's nothing on there that says, you know, hey, you don't have to check for a charge. I guess a lot of people were boobing like, eh, they're so good. Oh. So, still have that brood mother with her old crusty model. You know. And they don't even, they don't even show you thorns. Like, dude, what? So, the Piper's still awesome looking. Uh, yeah. You know, they took out a lot of stuff. See, there, they'll show you Freya, her back. They'll show you her, but you can't play her in these rules. What the H, dudes. Uh, you know, she doesn't exist. She does not, she doesn't have a place here. Forge Fathers, you know. Leadership, Forge, Forge Lord, Forge Huskarl, the Brocker. Steel Warrior Huskarl, and then uh, the Dolgorm, whatever, uh, and then Master Artificer. So they've got a bunch of leads. Militia, Bokor, Harfish, Drop Troop. Love those Drop Troops. Uh, troop Specialist Thorgrim himself. I need to get the Thorgrim. That don't have him. Inferno Drill, Forge Guard. Yeah, yeah, artificer, excavator, robot. Yep, iron ancestor. The Hellfather, Bjorn, Ogin, Pad, and Ingolf. You know, they'll keep the freaking dog, but they'll take Freya and say, get out of here. Congratulations, Pad. You just beat out Freya. Like, what the heck, man? What the heck? Anyway, I'm disappointed with this book. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's trash because it doesn't have mercenaries. I need to look at the um, Easy Army app and see if it's uh, going to redeem this at all. You know, what I came to understand is that when Mantic was re-releasing this stuff, or releasing it, that... Uh, they were going to put everything in here. I was expecting all kinds of chunky goodness in this book. But I got the wah, wah. I mean, you know, they finger flicked mercenaries, which was an awesome faction. Very flavorful. Just totally chucked it. And, you know, this has the good flavor, juiciness, awesome sauce. This is vegan, bro. Who gives a damn if you could lick the spoon? If it tastes like poop, salad poop, you know, sorry, but not sorry. Uh, yeah, speaking my mind here, this is trash. And what we're going to expect, like how this came out with the box set, and then later on you had to buy this. We're going to later on have to buy something else. It might look a little different. It might look like this. We're going to have to buy something else. And now instead of two books, we're going to rock three books. Might be mercenaries and other crap we forgot to put into this book. What can you do, you know? Uh, gaming companies. I'm beginning to believe they're all under the uh, the auspice of Games Workshop, where it's like 
you know, drill your customers, your fan base, screw them. Um, you know, you're not going to hear this stuff on YouTube from any of the big guys that have followings and stuff like that because two of the channels are on the rules committee and one of the channels is a gigantic fanboy. You know, I love Dread Path Zone. I got to say it though. Fanboy. F -f 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 fanboy. That dude's smile is contagious. Schultz, you're awesome. But your smile is contagious. Your energy is incredible. And Tim is awesome. He, clumsy as he is. And how many ones he rolls. Still awesome. You guys have a great dynamic. Fanboys. Just got to say it, man. And then, you know, Family of Gamers and Way to Fire. You know, they're in the bandwagon. You know, they are... They're making videos as fans used to be, but now I believe that they're kind of corporate type dudes. You know, they have their fingers in the pie. They're in the rules committee. They've got some say and some sway and all that stuff. You know, shoot, they might sit down and have a cup of tea with Ronnie and whatnot. I don't know. But I know that they're not as partial as they should be. You're not going to hear any boobing and complaining. What, you know, I mean, do it up, man. Complain. Okay, yeah, I love this model. I think his rules are crap. The model's sweet, man. I'm going to do a little video on it. Model's sweet. Uh, so far, crap. And I just want to say, it looks so much better without the recycling symbol. You know what I'm saying? You know? Smooth, sexy. Yeah. Now this could be anything that I want it to be. Ooh. No silly, goofy-ass trash can here. Yep, this could be something else. I could put a face on this guy. But anyway. So you guys, take it easy. Um, I have high hopes for 3.0. It looks like rules-wise they tried to to fix the shenanigans of shooting someone's finger if you can see it on the other side of a building uh, or tail or wing or cloak or whatever so they got rid of that shenanigans and they also made it to where your command dice can always be used which is wonderful in one way or another used as they're meant to be used or xyz so that's nice i will peruse this and give you guys my thoughts on that later but y'all take it easy, man. Uh, yeah, and be real about your games. Be real. Don't just uh, drink the Kool-Aid and go into La La Land. And, oh, everything is happy. It's not. It's not. This, this is poop. You get rid of Mercs, there you go. You got rid of Mercs. All right, guys. Y'all take it easy. Carry a laser on.